Hey everyone, welcome back to another mid-journey video. So have you ever wished you could infuse your desired colors directly into your mid-journey image creation? Well, worry no more because in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the style reference feature of mid-journey along with the color palette prompting. And by integrating both of these features in mid-journey, you'll be able to create images with your desired colors infused into them. So yeah, whether you're talking about even photography, character design, fashion photography, food photography, and anything. So yeah, now you'll be able to put your desired colors into that without doing that time-consuming edits with just one click. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys, so here I am in my mid-journey. So take a look at the first example. First of all, I type in my prom 1970s film photo of a young couple on the streets of California, and it basically provided me these images, all right? These look good. And then after that, I took the same prompt and just uploaded this color palette right over here. And by doing the style reference with my color palette and along with the same prompt, then it basically changed this image to this one. Like, take a look at this. Wow, this looks perfect, right? So this was uh, the color palette. As you guys can see, we have kind of orange shade, a red, green, blue, uh, brown, you can say that. And you know, it basically integrated all these colors into my new photo by just applying the parameter style reference. So this is basically a huge deal for you. If you are a graphic designer, if you want to play with colors, if you want to go ahead and change colors after you have created the images. So yeah, by this parameter, uh, you can go ahead and do that very easily with just one click. So yeah, for this particular video, I have categorized 10 different categories for you in which you can go ahead and use this amazing mid-journey feature. So if you want to go ahead and get access to color palettes, so this is basically the website color-hex and it will basically provide you like hundreds and thousands of different color palettes. So we're talking about chalkboard antics, RVGS themes, code glass theme, and we have tons of different color palettes. All right, guys, so now let's just get started. So first of all, are we gonna go ahead and discuss the use case as even photography? So for that, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my simple prompt for even photography, which is gonna be even photography of a lively dance floor at a wedding reception, capturing the joy and energy of the celebration, all right? So this is a really simple prompt and mind you, it's really important. So whatever prompt you're working on, you need to make sure uh, in the start that what your prompt is okay so if i'm doing even photography so my prompt should start with even photography of whatever the thing is okay and let's just go ahead and create this prompt first of all okay so this is the final outcome uh without any style reference without any color palette so this is uh, even photography for lively dance floor all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the magic of the style reference feature, okay? So first of all, are we gonna go ahead and upload uh, the color palettes? So for your reference, these are the color palettes that I had chose uh, for this video that I'll be playing with, okay? So let's just say for the even photography, I'm gonna go ahead and select this um, Kara Bast color palette, all right? This one looks interesting to me, so I'm gonna upload it to Mid Journey. And after that, I'm gonna type in my same prompt of event photography, but after that, it will be dash dash SREF to activate my style or reference parameter. And then I'm gonna copy the link of this color palette and paste it right after the SREF, but with the space, okay? Really important uh, that you put space in between SREF and your link. So now if I go ahead and hit enter, so take a look at the results now. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Like check it out how beautifully it has indulged those colors. Uh, like it is in the floor. We have that in the dresses everywhere. So yeah, this color palette trick is absolutely crazy, right you guys? Okay, so next, if we go ahead and jump to our next use case, which is gonna be character design. So yeah, first of all, we're gonna do that without the style reference. So I'm gonna type character design of a brave astronaut exploring an alien planet and all those details. And if I click enter and see the regular image first of all. All right, so this is my regular image first of all. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose our color palette. So uh, for the character design for uh, the astronaut, I'm gonna go ahead and select this dark one, which is cool sunset color palette, all right? And after that, we're gonna do the same, type in my prompt once again, then dash dash SREF. And now copy the link of my color palette and paste it after the style reference, okay? So now let's just go ahead and compare the results. All right guys, so take a look at this. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. 
how beautifully it has indulged those colors of my color palette. We have character design of a brave astronaut exploring an alien planet. And we have all the colors that I put in my color palette, like blue, uh, purple, and all the shades of that. And yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Now, you don't have to do all that color grading. And you know, like if you are in graphic designing, this feature is a huge deal, okay? All right, so now let's just go ahead and jump to our next use case, which can be fashion photography, which could be really demanding for some of the people. So I'm going to type imagine. Type in my simple prompt first, then with the color palette. So it's going to be a fashion model walking down a busy city street in a chick winter coat with snowflakes gently falling around her. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, the prompt is completed. We're going to select our color palette. So if you talk about fashion photography, so I think uh, this serene summer garden is going to work really, really good. So I'm going to download this one, come back to my mid journey and upload it straight away. Okay. All right. So our image is done as well, which looks kind of really fantastic, right? So yeah, we have beautiful result of a fashion model walking down on a cheek with your coat. And now let's just go ahead and do uh, the same with our color palette. I'm going to tie the same prompt then dash dash S R E F simply copy paste the link of our color palette over here. Okay. All right. So here we go. Wow. This looks absolutely fantastic, right? So yeah, previously uh, we had a really a simple looking photo of a fashion photography and by indulging colors of the color palette to our new image. So it basically created these results. So yeah, this looks really fantastic. So now we have uh, the updated version of a fashion model walking down a busy city street. Uh, we wanted these results from our color palette. So yeah, it turned out absolutely perfect, right, you guys? All right, so next, let's jump to food photography. So I type in my prompt, food photography of a gourmet seafood dish, focusing on the vibrant colors and textures of the ingredients. So this was my initial output. Yeah, looks really, really good to the point and looks really realistic as well. And now if we do some color grading with this one, this is the color palette. So yeah, these were the results it generated for that. Yeah, looks absolutely fantastic, right? Especially if you take a look at the first, second, third. You know what? All of them look absolutely great. So we have the exact colors that were there in the color palette. No changes whatsoever. It captured the color very, very beautifully. It knows which color to put there. So it turned out absolutely fantastic, right? Okay, so next, if we go ahead and jump to our album cover art. So I tied in our prom album cover art featuring a silhouette of a jazz musician playing a saxophone against a backdrop of city skyline at dusk. So these were my initial results. And I went ahead and chose a color uh, which was similar to that. So this was the color palette for this image. So yeah, after that, it created these results for me. Wow, these look really, really great. Uh, especially if I talk about the first, second, third one, fourth one, I'm not sure about that. It just put the pattern. But other than that, the third image and the second one looks really, really good, right? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and jump to commercial photography. So I type a prompt commercial photography of a sleek new smartphone, emphasizing its slim design and high tech features. All right. So yeah, uh, these were my initial results. You guys can see looks really, really realistic to the mark. And yeah, for that, I chose this color grading, which is kind of a gray or you can say white one. And for that, it basically gave me these results, right? So yeah, these didn't turn out that good, honestly. So yeah, I went ahead and basically chose another color palette, that basically contains green as well as red and all those shades. And yeah, for that, it basically provided me these results. So yeah, wow, now this one looks good, especially, especially the second one, right? So we have like a green smartphone uh, with a very cool camera design and the background. Yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic, right? All right, so next, let's just go ahead and jump to magazine layout design. So I typed magazine layout design for a travel feature incorporating stunning landscape photos and engaging headline. Okay, so these were my initial results. And yeah, after that, I went ahead and did some color grading color palette into that. So I chose this one, uh, which was a very nice color palette for our magazine layout design. So it turned out uh, this for that yeah, looks half decent, but not up to the mark. So yeah, I went ahead and choose one another color palette. So yeah, this one looks good. So we have our orange shade and all those other shades of green into that as well. Or you can say C color. All right. And after that, it basically provided me these results. Wow. Now this is really, really good. Right, you guys? Okay, so now if we jump into the landscape design. So landscape design of a tranquil Japanese garden showcasing a koi pond. So yeah, these were my initial results. You guys can see looks really, really realistic to the mark. 
And for that, I basically went ahead and chose this very cool uh, looking color palette, cool looking shades that suits exactly to our landscape designs. And for that, it basically provided me these results, all right? These are looking half decent. Uh, the fourth one looks good, but other than that, I think these look really artificial. So yeah, after that, it basically chose the sunset color palette, all right? And for that, it provided me these results. Now take a look at this, wow. This one looks absolutely perfect, especially the first two ones, right? Okay, so the next one we have is digital artwork. So I provided the prompt digital artwork of a bustling cyberpunk cityscape. Okay, so it provided me these results. You guys can see these look really, really good. And for that, I went ahead and chose some neon colors, a color palette. And for that, it provided me these results, which look absolutely fantastic, right? So we have all the neon shades and we do have the cityscape. Uh, cyberpunk style all right looks absolutely perfect and then last but not least we have website design so i provided my prom website design for our digital marketing agency highlighting the services offered with the clean modern aesthetics and for that i basically provided very uh simple looking cool color palettes oh yeah so these contain simple colors into that and for that it basically provided me with these results. You guys can see it turned out really, really good, especially the first one. Check it out, like how beautifully and how accurately it captured those colors and integrated that into my work, right? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the Neo style reference feature along uh, with the crazy color palette designs, which you can go ahead and integrate very, very easily with just one click. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.